Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal, and uh, welcome to video assisted instruction C language programming series. Our topic for today is the continuation of the uh, principle. Okay. And uh, what we need to do is to click the source file on the left side of the screen. You will notice under source file, we have sandata underscore program one dot cpp. This one. Okay, so when, when you click this one, you will notice that uh, the code we type on our previous uh, video, uh, we have here, uh, and uh, what you need to do is to highlight all of this, and um, you can right click, and you can copy. Okay, or Control C in the keyboard if you're going to use. Now uh, let's click this one. Then afterwards, uh, you can click uh, the source files, and uh, after clicking it, right click, then click Add. Okay. Then after clicking Add, we have the new item, or in the keyboard Control Shift A. Now uh, it will display another uh, window form specifying what would be the name of the file we're going to add. Okay, right here. So we have the add new item C language. You can click C plus plus that CPP and on the name. Okay, input box so uh, you can uh, replace the source then uh, you can type here um, some data underscore program 2 okay so after that you can click add now it's up to you of the uh, file name of your C language program okay so let's click add now you'll notice that we have uh, two files under the source files. The first one is the first program we created. The second one is the new program which is a blank screen. Okay, so this is the text editor. So what you need to do is to copy, since we already copy, copy the uh, file in program 1 and let's paste it in program 2. So right click and uh, control V using keyboard now face. And uh, what you need to do, you need to go back here in our source files and uh, you can right click this one and you can click um, exclude from project. Okay, the reason of excluding the first program because uh, once we compile the uh, the two program we've created, uh, you will encounter error because the compiler doesn't know what will be the first uh, program to compile. Okay, so right here, since our topic is the uh, second uh, part of the uh, the principles now what we need to study right now is that uh, this uh, typer code here we're going to remove this and we need to type okay um, print F okay that's it. So I'm going to explain printf. Um, now uh, let me check. So print means print on the screen. 
and the uh, F it means a format so uh, therefore printf is a print format print format okay now next one is the open and close parentheses and that is what you call in our last discussion so it is a function now print f open and close parentheses is considered to be a print format function okay so to make it clear now the other inclusion is uh, the quotations okay so we have the begin quotation and end quotation okay begin and end quote now um, this begin and end quote identifies what would be the argument you're going to insert in the middle of it okay we have two way okay the first one is a character and the second one is the format specifier again let's proceed right here so we have two types of items two types of items you can insert in the middle of the uh, code okay so the first one is a character and the second one is the format specifier okay uh, let's have an example of a character a character composes of alphabet okay sign and symbols okay even number they are all characters so let's check out let's uh, type here for example we have M okay so we have M and afterwards uh, to see what is the output of uh, this code okay we can click debug and uh, start without debugging so you will notice it is considered to be green line and uh, would you like to build yes so we have built started and uh, it uh, build succeeded and uh, it will display now you'll notice that uh, what we've inputted in the middle of the begin and end code we have two types that is character and format specifier and you will notice we have the uh, letter M is considered to be an alphabet okay so we have letter M okay before press any now we will notice also that uh, we can uh, put the space comma space right here and let's have a sign like uh, at sign okay uh, then uh, let's uh, debug and uh, start without debugging yes okay so we have letter M and we have at sign okay now uh, it could be also as uh, a symbol okay a symbol like uh, exclamation mark okay so uh, let's check out click debug and uh, start without debugging yes and uh, 
let's check out so we have n add sign n question mark and that is the main purpose of uh, the printf function it will display okay uh, characters which is alphabet sign symbols and numbers inside of the quote or the quotation now let's uh, have a comma here and uh, let's type a number like uh, 3 and uh, debug start without debugging yes so let's check out so we have M at question mark and read the present continue. Now we already finished this uh, type of item under printf. So we have two. And the second one is the format specifier in printf. Okay. So the format specifier is considered to be uh, like this okay. so we have printf and uh, double code percent d double code So uh, what we need to do is to click debug and start without debugging. Click yes and build succeeded. Okay. So you'll notice we have here at the beginning, which is considered to be zero. Okay. And percent p. So percent p is a code, and the format is specified as zero. Okay, because we didn't even declare any arguments okay inside of our format specifier okay now um, let's continue and uh, let's uh, type again another format specifier like uh, percent C comma then uh, percent uh, X and percent and we have E so let's check out the four uh, format specifier of what will be the output of this so let's click debug and start without debugging click yes and you will notice we have zero comma so NP character so we have the sign of a hexadecimal and uh, we have the exponentiation okay then m add. okay so uh, that's uh, that is the two types of item you can insert in the middle of the code okay so we have character and the format specifier Okay, um, good luck. Uh, thank you for your time watching this video. Okay. Um, if you, for more uh, videos, um, just uh, go to my email sybillarealjr0105-1975 at yahoo.com. Thank you very much.